Good morning guys, how you doing? It's Gavin here from Ponds View. A little update on the natural swimming pool we've been doing. We've had a nightmare with water coming in. All the land drains from all up here are coming in. You can see one there. You can see one in the background there where the gravel comes in here. We've had to dig them all, put them all underground. So the water is consistently coming in. You can see the stream there. See the water running? And that's without it raining. When it rains, this will fill up in one day, the whole thing. And we've got to put a liner in here, because in the summer, it would drain. So it'd fill up as quick as it, it, it you know, when it rains. But then, because it was summer, it would obviously drain through the soil. Well, we are putting a, a, a solid, or a rubber liner in here. Well, what we don't want is a liner lifting. So while we've been working, we've been battling the sort of the water coming in it's been really muddy um, we've got it under our heights now these are our heights so you can see you've got a six inch drain coming in there we've been pumping this out up until now um, but we've managed to divert it and take it out of the pond into a land drain which is under that block i put the block over the top of it to stop any of this soil falling in and and blocking it up for us but now we've got to this point we can keep it dry and work in the pond this wall here this is segregating or separating the filter which is going to be a bog filter with loads of different size rocks and the water will actually work its way up through and then come back into the pond it's going to be planted all along the edge that's your height that little bank there's your height well, this was all set yesterday, but we had to dig it back up, and there will be the water height. So you'll have a, a ledge all the way around. Uh, you'll have wooden sleepers across the top of the wall, and there. And you'll have all nice gravel. This section will be all rocked out. Um, but yeah, you can see, we've just got water. You can see the, the line of clay, and then the rest of the soil. So all the water, even if it's not come in from the land drains, there, sorry. Um, it's still working its way off that clay layer and coming into here and it's been it's been a nightmare You can see this one is uh, running as well See there's a land drain It's actually running in that way as well. So it must be another land drain. It's actually coming in from the bank there and it's coming in from that bank there and coming down So yeah, hopefully now guys, this is gonna start looking a bit prettier uh, we got 10 tonne of gravel coming today to finish the land drains. So we'll run pipe work now. We'll cut this, clear the gravel, connect the pipe work down there. Same on that side, connect the pipe work, bring it in. Gravel it all out. Fill that one in, connect that one up as well. And then we can start clearing this. We can backfill and make it all look nice. Hopefully, um, if not by the end of the day, by the end of Monday, it's going to be ready for liner. And then we'll line it from there, right the way through, up and over, and back up. We'll put some uh, aqua crates in. We'll put different size uh, rock and gravels all the way up to the top. And then this section as well, we'll have gravel. The pump's going to go down there, it'll come up the bank, come down here underneath the gravel, all the way across. And then the actual inlet, of the filter bay will be right at the bottom so the water has to flow up through and then you'll have all the beneficial bacteria and everything else we're gonna have all this will be planted the whole area will be planted and the plants will continue down the side and then this is going to be our diving board we've got um, a pontoon going up so I need to put some wooden legs coming up and then they're gonna put a deck in area there so it's, it's gonna look amazing guys once it's done at the moment it's just looking a mess. We've had to, you can see parts of the land drain there. We've, we did set all this bank out and we are hoping to find the land drain further, further into the pond, but we couldn't find it. So we were actually gonna dig our own from here all the way through there, all the way down the drive and into a stream down there because the customer didn't just want it sticking out and in the water running down his road. So that was our job yesterday. But we were very, very lucky 
we found a land drain coming across the ground here. Where it's going, we don't know, but it's been flowing since last night. And it's still flown away, it hasn't backed up. I was worried it was gonna back up. I was worried it was just a channel of gravel, you know, going 200 meters down or whatever, and then eventually overnight it'd back up. But that's been clean. Water's running clear, it's running fine. So we'll, we'll connect it all up now and backfill today. Um, other issues we've come across. We had to source um, mains water pipes coming in, which we didn't expect. And we had to source the cables, electric cables, because the last thing we wanted to do was to dig, if we were digging from here all the way down there, is to hit the mains water cable. So yeah, we've had, we've had a real, uh, this job has been a real test for, well, for us mentally and physically. But we've got it under control and yeah, as you can see there, it's beautiful today. It was dry yesterday and the water's still flying in. It was purposely done. All, all this ground, all the ground behind was purposely sent to this pond to fill up with water. Well, we are trying to stop the pond filling up with water now because we want to put a liner in. So yeah, anything after this guys will be so easy. Um, so it's taken quite a while because of the problem with the water. But as you can see, it's taking shape now. You can see the digger there, so you can get, get a mag. I think it's, um, well, we've got a 30 meter long liner going in here, 30 by 17 wide. So if that gives you a bit of an idea of the size of the job. There's my little machine in there, and then there's the other company, Phoenix Hire. And we had the dumper from Mike from South Canelli plant yesterday. I rang him in the afternoon, one of our machines went down and he brought it straight down for me, so fair play. Um, like and subscribe guys to the YouTube channel. We've been quiet with all the COVID and everything else going on, the rain. We are in South Wales in the UK. Um, and this time of year, it's November. We, we get two days dry a week, if that. So you can imagine it's been a a right mess in this pond where you can see the garden the state of the garden is tracks going up everywhere which is all gonna have to be put back take care guys be safe enjoy the rest of your day thanks